Welcome to this video. In this video, we will see how we can make a small dashboard on Node-RED to communicate with SE10 controller via Modbus TCP IP. In the last video, we have seen how we can communicate via Siemens VLC using Profinet. And in this video, we'll see Node-RED via Modbus. If you are new to Node-RED, check out the banner on the top right where you can see how you can make dashboard using a Node-RED. And Node-RED is an open source software you can use for any application you imagine. All right, coming back. So in the dashboard, we will see several status like system lockout, any input fault, magnetic switch, door switch, EM stop, and the relay outputs. You can also simulate the EM stop operation and bypass the switch. So we will. So we will do everything which we were doing in the last video, but this time via Modbus using a dashboard. So this is another possibility to visualize your SC10 controller and control the inputs as well. So let's see what are the steps. Step one is, so the task says, set up the Modbus communication with Node-RED and read the virtual status output of SC10 controller on the dashboard. So we will see the status of EM stop, magnetic switch, reset required, and the store switch on the dashboard. Simulate the EM stop operation. So we will simulate if E stop is pressed or not, and send the bypass magnetic switch command from the dashboard. This we will do in the next steps. So let's see the solution. Step one, it says connect the Modbus addresses with the function to send over via Modbus communication. So we have to select Modbus TCP IP here, which was Profinet before. So let's go to a controller and go to your e industrial ethernet. And here change the Profinet to Modbus TCP. Once you do that, a confirmation window, click continue. And now you have seen that it has automatically configured my functions to my Modbus addresses. So these are the addresses on the right. And here it says all registers are accessible as input address 30,000 or holding register 40,000. And if you see the first address is 901 bit zero. And notice that it starts with 901. It starts with one on the right side. So it's one based addressing. In Modbus, you have two types of addressing, zero based and one based. So this is one based addressing. We have to remember that. I will tell you later on how does it affect our Modbus program on the Node-RED. So once you do that, you can just go to your step two here. The step two says, okay, here we also say you can click auto configure to have automatic functions here. And you can use drop down menu to navigate to virtual non safety inputs. So let's see that here. These were just the outputs. And if you go to the inputs, you can see these are already configured here with the coil address 3001 and 3002. Okay. So these were the outputs and these are the inputs. So inputs, these are the signals coming from the dashboard now from mod from Node Red. Okay. Once you have done that, just download this to your controller. Okay, one more thing before we download that, let's see the next step. You have to enable the network and enter the IP address. Never forget. So here you can go to your network settings, enable the network and I have my IP address already mentioned with my subnet mask, gateway address you can also add and then you can click send here and enter the password. 1901, click OK, continue. Everything looks good and click OK. So my network communication settings has been downloaded into the controller. All I have to do now is restart the controller. So I will turn off the power supply again and plug it back in. Now it's restarted. I can go to my live view, save changes to the project. And now I am live. So here you can see that functional block. This is live. Okay. Now let's go back to the next step. So the next step is we have to open Node-RED and take a Modbus node. So this I have already configured. I'm just going to show you my window. This is my Node-RED. Now in this Node-RED window, you see I have a timestamp and I have a Modbus node, which is saying Modbus getter. And this node has been configured with IP address of my SE10 controller. So if I open this node and I see my server, so server is SE10 controller, the safety controller, this is my server. 
All right. So I have to put the network setting of the server. So if I show you here, I have my communication as TCP. This is the IP address of my SC10 controller. The port address is 502 by default. Okay, and the unit ID is one. You just need three things, IP address, port address, unit address. Once you enter these three things, click on update and click on done and click on deploy. So what is happening here, I will explain you in a while. So you just configure your mod by scatter with the server and I can enable this for an interval of one second, click done and deploy. If you're new to Node-RED and if you want to learn how you can make a dashboard via Node-RED, check out this banner on the top where you will find more information about in my Node-RED course. All right, so once this is deployed and we have to check if everything looks okay, at the moment it's waiting for a reset. So let me just reset the circuit. Now my circuit is reset and my output auto two is one and auto one is not on because my safety virtual safety input for bypass is also true. A magnetic switch is also true. I'll take it back. Okay, now let's go back to our node red. So this has been deployed. I just need to check if everything looks fine. And if I go to my dashboard here, you can see I have used some UI nodes for LED output, system lockout, any input fault, ROI status, R02 status. Now, if I open this node again, you will see here I put the address 900 and I've used here read holding register. Now why 900 and why read holding register? Let's go back here. And if you go to your industrial ethernet, you will notice that should be Modbus TCP IP. Wait a second. This should not be like this. Continue. Change the protocols. Let me just go offline. Okay. And online. So this looks fine. Let me just put that again. 192. 168.0.128. Here it was 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, and zero. And this we're gonna send. Press continue, restart the controller. And what you can also do is, I think last time I forgot to download this program. So you have to write the configuration to the controller, save the project, and let's save it as a project three. Save another time password, continue. Confirm. I just sent the po protocols of Modbus, but I didn't download, but that's okay. So just download the program and reset the controller again. The so controller is restarted. Let's go to live mode again. Functional view. Now everything looks nice. And go back here. Okay, so I was telling you I use here read holding register and address as 900. Why I did that, if you go to your safety controller and go to industrial ethernet, you will notice here all registers are accessible as input register 30,000 and holding register 40,000 and 30,000 and 40,000 are specific numbers in Modbus communication. So if I use here read holding register FC3, that is my 30,000, okay? If I use four, that is my 40,000, that's just the initials. So I use FC3 and then I have to use my first register, which is 901. And as I told you, this SEDN controller is one based addressing. So they start with 901, but Node-RED is zero based addressing. So I start with 900. This you have to make sure. Click, uh, so enter the address 900. It will read the address 901. That's how this is being done. So you have to just be careful with that. And once you do that quantity, I just want to read one whole register. So one register, you know, is 16 bit. So here, my first output, 
the system logout is my full suite 901.0. Next is 901.1.2.3. So if I read my one quantity, one resistor, I am reading 16 status from 901.0 to 901.15. I'm reading 16 status. So I just need one resistor and I'm done. So I'll just put one here, click done. And this is, I think, already deployed. So just to confirm one more time, I will make a full deploy. Now this is deployed and now you can see the values are coming. So what is this value? What does it mean? So if you see this value is the value coming to my this payload. So my Modbus is sending me a value 48 all the time. Okay, now you will say what does 48 means? As I told you, this whole resistor is from 901.0 to 901.15. It is sending me an integer value of these bits. So I just made a logic in Node-RED to convert this integer into my Boolean bits. So this I can show you. I will turn off this payload, turn on this payload. And now you will notice this is showing 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So what does this address mean? Let's stop this. Just take one. Okay. Now first bit is zero. This is the status of my system lockout. So system is not locked out. That's why it's zero. Track any input fault. This is also zero. We start from the right side. There is no input fault. Track output fault. Also zero. There is no output fault. Fourth bit, magnetic switch. If you see it's zero, you can see that in my trainer, magnetic switch is false. That's why it's zero. Next was door switch, which is true. And here you can see it's one. If you just want to see, you can also see it here. This is my door switch, which is also one. And next one is, let's go back here, e-stop. And e-stop is also true. That's why it's one. And then the next one is reset needed. We see that there is no reset required. That's why it's zero. And then track ROI, RO2, those are also zero, zero. Okay. And one more thing, we need to add more inputs. If you see our program, we have used VME1 VME and VON1 EMS. These are not defined here at the moment. So what we can do is I can go off offline and click auto configure. And you can see that now everything is defined here. And I can just go to download now. So write controller to wait a second. Let me just check as per my program if these configuration is fine. So I took first one as system lockout, then input fault, then output fault. No, I did not took any output fault. I took RO1 status. So let me just confirm it. This is my fourth track R1. This is fine. Okay. My program is working according to this. That's totally fine. So we have more inputs now. Let's download that to the controller. Confirm. Close. And we have to restart the controller again. Controller is restarted and we can go back to live functional view. So now I will read that again. Now you can see the values 192 because I have added more inputs. And here, if I show you, this is now, this is actually the binary representation of 192 in 16 bit. Okay, so using this individual bits, I have an LED status. So how this has been done, you can take a copy of this program. I'm basically converting this integer into a string and converting the string into this binary using this function in Node-RED. And then I'm taking individual string and converting it back to my int value one or zero. So this is a bit tricky. You can see the program. That's not the objective of the video to understand no drive program, but just to see how easy it is to visualize the value on the dashboard. So now we have a dashboard here and I will bring it like this and let's bring it here 
and let's bring this here and you have also have the camera view so here you can see that the status magnetic switch is false here you can see magnetic switch is red there is no input fault no system lockout door switch is true this is also true em stop is true that's also true reset required is green there is no reset required auto two status is false false so let's bring the circuit back to the normal condition in this case we have to bring the magnetic switch back so let's bring it back and now you can see that magnetic switch is true here and this is also true here and to make it work now in this case magnetic switch is active mute enable is false i have to check what is the problem what is missing this is missing this em stop from here so we have to simulate the em stop is release so when i click here now you can see that this is true and now you can see that on the dashboard reset is required also you can see on the safety circuit reset is required so i'll reset it and finally you will see my outputs are true and you can see the relay status here as well so these relay status r01 r02 is coming here r02 and r01 reset required is green we don't need a reset em stop is true door switch is true magnetic switch is true now you can also bypass the circuit just like the last application i'll take back this magnetic switch this is red and here you can see that magnetic switch is active at the moment so this is working i can bypass now magnetic switch is bypass and you can see that this condition this toggle switch is true and here you can see that this is blue and reset required is also stating here and also in your functional blog and also on the safety kit so i can reset the circuit again now circuit is reset and my magnetic switch is bypassed okay this is how you can represent your values on Node-RED via Modbus. All I'm doing is I'm just reading the addresses which are mentioned here in my Node-RED or if you have any other application, if you have any other controller, any other software, it's super easy to just connect via Modbus using an IP address. All right, so this was the objective of the video. I hope you like the lesson and if you have any doubts or comments feel free to put below this video so I want to thank you for watching all this web series I hope you learned something and if you want to have more information about the safety controller visit www.bannerengineering.com or you can check wiki of code and compile where I put all this information and you can also have a copy of this presentation thank you for watching and I hope you have fun see you in the next web series Bye-bye.